is. I'm telling the answer to this one. Bless you, Rob. Yeah. I can say, like you said, I can take it to Jesus Christ and dream about this morning. Uh, I just want to be saved. You know? Amen. I want to be in the number that goes up to me the Lord, man. Amen. That's what we The greatest hope yeah. ever was. Right. Hear him say, well done, enter in. I thought if I could hear that, I've got it made. Amen. But I'll tell you, well done. When I come out of the grave, it will all be better than that. I come out of the grave with a new body, never to die no more. That's going to be a wonderful thing, Sue. I have two new legs and never felt no pain before. I have a voice that will never wear out. I'll be able to do things I ain't been able to do for a long time. Because I have that new body. That's what Jesus Christ promised me this morning. That's right. Eternal life. He didn't promise nobody nothing else but eternal life. That's it. Well, if we make it, we'll have it when we go into the kingdom. Yeah. It's good to be in the house of Lord. I'm a servant of a living God that sat on the right hand. A father that sat on the right hand of God this morning. Right. Jesus Christ. He's the man that went to the tomb, laid there three days, and rose again. Brother, he's not dead this morning. No. But I'll tell you one thing you guys had or heard of people that's marked for the beast and people that's lost. That's right. If they don't make it right, they're going to carry that mark till the Lord comes. I, wanna, I don't want that mark. No. I want to be a Christian. I want to be ready to meet him when he comes. Amen. Brother, if we can do that this morning, we'll have her made. Have her made. He will have her made. He's coming again. Yes, he is. Man. I thought they was a time appointed and it says you'll not be a second late as the song says. Nope. You'll be right on time. Oh, right. When God says get my people and my church, you'll be right on time. Will. I don't know when it is. You don't know when it no. is. But let me tell you one thing. God knows when it is. He's the author and the finisher of this thing. He's the one who made the plan. He's the one who's going to stop the plan too.
didn't hang on that cross up there. Jesus Christ didn't hang there. He washed me totally in the blood. He didn't half wash me. Bless you, Jim. You know, I need a little bit more than half a church service. You know, we got up this morning, they come into God's house, and they spend half the time in here, and they get up and they take off. Did you come this morning just to get half a blessing? Did you come this morning just hear half God's word? Woo, brother of David's coming. Woo, to get the whole thing. God washed me this morning. He washed me that blood. He completely washed me. He didn't half do it. God don't half do nothing. Woo, praise the name of Jesus. Wish you wish you. We ain't here to be wishy washy this morning. We ain't here to receive half of God. We're here this morning to receive Amen. everything God has to Amen. offer each one of us. Amen. I don't want to miss a thing. I might not get another chance to receive it. I'm here today to get what God's going to give me. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I love the Lord this morning. I give him praise for each thing he's given me. Another week, another day. I've been blessed. And that's what all God has to offer because he died for me. Right. He died so I could receive everything that he has to offer. Yeah. And I give him praise this morning. Bless him. Amen. Good Amen. job. Amen. Anyone else? Bless you, brother. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yeah. 
go back or read it again. Jesus was talking to these four of these disciples, and he said, As I have told you, say unto you, watch. He said, I say unto all, watch. And I thought, like, yeah, we need to be watching. True. And he was telling them about what was to come about the end of time and what to look for. But he said, as I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And I thought, yes, we need to be about our Father's business. I need to be watching. And if he finds you asleep, we're in trouble. And I don't want to be found asleep. Bless you. But I've come, like you said, in the salt. I've come too far. To turn back. It's all in the future. And like we were talking with his sister last night, I want my children saved. I yeah. want to see them saved. But if they don't make it, it's not going to stop me. Right. And I'll never know that they're not there. Right. I'm not going to be looking around and saying, where are they at? Because I'm going to be praying a sacred that for me. And I'm not going to realize because it says, the Bible tells us, the former things that be done away with. All we've got to do is look for the future. Y'all pray for me. Anybody else? Thank you, brother. I'd like to say, I've known people on the sunshine. I've won a hard battle just what I am today. And let me tell you, I'm a proud girl. If I would ever want to know. Because I'm a Christian. From the bottom of my feet to the top of my head.
They wanted to get me something. It was always something spiritual, something that had Christ in. So they was thinking that's who I was serving. But they know what it's like. They know how to serve the Lord. But today is just in this world, there's so much to draw them away. They're too busy. Too busy. Would you all pray for me that I would do what I can do and my children would see they would just take inventory of their life. Yeah. I asked the Lord to catch them at the right time. Mm-hmm. Let them take inventory of their life and realize that he's missing. That is a big part of their life. He is missing. Yep. And they need to turn to him. They don't. I'm sure they don't want to, to go to hell when they leave this world. If you'd ask them. But they could be doing so much. So much. Our children had a talent. They could sing, but they're not. Timmy and Flip could play the guitar and sing. Bless you. They're not using this talent for the Lord. If you all just pray for me, that I can set a good example. And they would turn from these ways. They would realize that they need Him more than anything in this world. Maybe they would turn to Him before it's too late. Pastor, I, 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 I want to give a joy. thanks to the Lord for the, the way he offers me the love, the kindness. He's putting his hand on me all the time. You know, what's going on with my son that is missing. And he just gives me a new strength every day. And I know as I, I, I was reading some things, and I'm really thankful, even for what Brother Jim said there. I don't want to half, he didn't half fill me. He filled me all the way up. There you go. And I am so thankful in this time that I am living through right now, and that we're all living through, that he has mercy on us. He loves us. He guides us. He gives us what we need every day if we'll listen. And I want to be the best listener of the Lord that I can be because he is the way, the truth, and the only thing in this life that really counts. True. And I want to be a blessing to other people. But I want, I just want to say that I love him with my heart, my whole heart. And I, and I just thank him. I just thank him that Y'all pray for me so that I'll keep going in that direction with that strength and listen. Listen with my whole heart and my speech. Bless you, Joyce. Bless you, Joyce. I have never been on drugs. I've never drank alcohol. But I'll tell you, I get a high all the time. I get a high (laughs) with Jesus Christ. I swear there is nothing, nothing more uplifting and joyous and having Jesus in your life, in your heart, in your soul. <coughs> when I was a small child, Bush. Jesus, I accepted Jesus as my Savior. I, I have backslidden a number of times and been hated myself for doing it, but I, I can tell you that, that if this world got the true high, the true high, right. then the, That's right. we would all be doing a great job. God would
the main thing is she knows what she's singing about. Yeah. And uh, that, that means so much. So just pray for us that uh, wherever we go, that we lift his hands above all else. <laughs> Be who I am. The Lord made me where He wanted me. I 
Better be something to light out out there more so than in the church. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, it. that's where people want to pick it up. Yeah. That's where you're going to testify to people. Bless. They see your light. There's drawing power there. Amen. And uh, Bless. in this life, this song we're about to do, we have all kinds of storms. <laughs> we go through them every day, just about the same light. And uh, anymore, it seems like these get rougher and rougher. But there's one thing about it. If we ride out that storm, we'll be right there with us.
that love watching the church enjoy the blessings from God. And you talked about the ship. You know, Jesus was in the ship. That's a good point. That's a yeah. good point. And you remember when he walked on the water, that wasn't just magic. That was a miracle. Right. That's right. And they cried unto him. And if you remember, when they were in the ship, if they had not cried unto him, he would have passed by. Yeah. But they cried unto him. Yeah, right. You see, these people in this world today, I believe the Spirit comes by. But they don't call on him. They don't cry unto him. They don't take that step that Peter took and step out of the boat and get their storms calm. You see, where the church is today is where Paul was when he was sailing to Rome. And the great big storm arose. He said, lighten the load. Lighten your load of sin. You'll stay afloat. Just start casting it over to the side. Pull the anchor up. What's holding you back? And let her float. You know what he said? Unless you abide in the ship, you can't be saved. Y'all stay in the ship. God's got her under control. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes the old shipwrecks. Oh, uh, I tell you, these these that going uh, that there be no divisions among us. Okay? Yeah. Sometimes we I think it's more important that the person wants to try to prove the right said yeah. what God said was the truth. That's right. Oh, yeah. Now I'm right. A wife. We got into a little discussion here the other day, and uh, she said, I'm right and you're wrong, <laughs> which I'd been telling her that a lot of times. <clears throat> and we was talking about this ID where somebody was dead and somebody wasn't, and I said, that woman was dead. She said, no, she's not. I said, I'm telling you, that woman was dead. No, she's not. That woman wasn't dead. She said, I'm right and you're wrong. I said, you're right and I'm wrong. You're right and I ain't. I'm almost right, but I'm not wrong. God is true and every man alive. Amen. God's going to tell you the truth. You know that ship did wreck. But it wrecked right where God planned for it to wreck. And they were on that island. They were out there with all those, what's that word? Barbarians or people couldn't, a ball bear. wasn't no ball bear. What did you say? Barbarian. Well, you know what I mean. He's still down the pool hall somewhere. Yeah, I thank God for Lawrence. He come dropping in here about four years ago. Thank God for him. Yes. A man here just several months ago, converted, baptized, going on the right track, earning her husband. Yes. Thank God for conversion. Yes. And you know, they talk about, listen, this power of God, when he gave it to the disciples, if any serpent bites you, you'll live, or anybody tries to poison you, I worked with a guy who got into that holiness church. Yeah. Now I'm telling you, it better be a holy church. <laughs> yeah. And they would drink that stuff, and he'd come in there, his language was messed up. You drink enough Drano, it's going to kill you. That's right. Don't hang that tenth the Lord with something. No. Oh, if you drink poison, it will not hurt you. What he's saying, you go out in the power of the world, and if somebody tries to harm you, I've got the power to overcome it. Right. And if any serpent, remember Paul? Yeah. That serpent hung on to his arm? Yeah. That's the way we got to do, just shake him off and let yeah. him lay. Yeah. That's why I tell them about the enemy. They brag about the devil. Devil made me do this. Devil made me do that. Well, if you want to carry him around on your back, you pack him. I say, shake him off and let him lay, sir. There you go. Amen. You're right. Yeah. Let's just give God the praise. What do you think? Amen. Have a good time. Say. Anybody got anything you want to say for you? This, bless you, Claire. Is that all you got to say? Yes, sir. Oh, get up there and tap, praise the Lord a little bit. Come on now. Come on, I know. How long have you been going to church here? 
how long I've been going to church, if you almost on the line. <laughs> Once you put your hand in the plow, don't look back. All hearts free. Praise the Lord. Good job. Let's all stand. We say again, let's give God a great big hand. Praise the Lord. Everybody knows it's here. Be services again Wednesday. Same time, same station. <laughs> Let's fire it up. Let's fire it up. Then go to the, just say go worship. Worship at your choice. Go to church and worship at your choice. That's what gets you. Your choice. You know, we come to worship. Praise the Lord. Right. Had a good day. You step out in the world, you're in the world, but not up. It's right out there. I'm going to hit you right in the face. How about you get up? Really, really thankful y'all come this way. Yeah. 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 My heart's free. Roy Russell, I love you, dear. Would you dismiss this service for us? Yeah. And, and let me say this, though. Uh, there's plenty of time, there was plenty of time if anyone felt the conviction to come to the altar. But if you still feel that power, don't let the spirit pass you by. It's right. open. Right. I know we have an altar call. <clears throat> Those people will come. They can't wait. People have been forgiven. We kind of set a special time. But it's been all day. Yeah, this is your time. Right. right. Amen. Make your choice. Amen. Brother Roy Russell. Good service, right? Go out.